Welcome to your online pastry school. We hope you enjoy this snippet of our online courses. And if you'd like to learn how to cook like a professional at home, click on the link below. So one thing that I see when people are listing lemons is they'll take a grater like this and use the Parmesan grater on the side. This is a really good mistake because all you're going to do is take off the pith, which is the white underneath the uh, zest of the, light, uh, the lemon. And it's going to give you a really bitter, horrible taste in your uh, whatever you're making. So what we use is this, which is called a microplane. It's a lot, lot finer and it will just take off the very, very top layer of the zest. So we're just going to take our, our lemon and just very lightly run it over the top of the microplane. And you should only get this tiny, tiny bit that's coming off the top. You should get loads of white patches. Otherwise, that means that some of the pith is inside your mix. Just going to give you a really bitter aftertaste. So I'm just going to slowly move this around. So with the microplanes, uh, what you can get is some very fine grey microplanes, but also some quite thick ones. So sometimes if you get the thick one, uh, you might struggle to get a really nice fine uh, zest off, and you might start to get some of the pith. You just want to look for the ones that are very, very fine. So something like this is great. Uh, yeah. So you can see as I go around the, the lemon, what I'm doing is just taking off the very darker uh, yellow. As soon as it gets anywhere near the white, then just stop and move on to the next bit. You don't want any of that white in your mix. And you should be left with a very lightly tinted um, lemon, obviously with no white patches, uh, and then all the zest has come on. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a nice lemon zest here without any kind of pith inside. So you know all the flavours in there without any bitterness. And that's how we zest the lemon properly. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the link below to find out how you can cook like a professional at home.